Ali Demirdas, who's a political analyst, he joins us now live from Washington. Ali, great to have you back. You know, we know that this, these are not the first comments like this that we have heard from Barzani, but I'm curious to know why he's making this distinction now. I think Barzani's remarks are very important for two reasons. Uh, the first is we are once again reminded that the YPG in Syria is actually the PKK, which is the Kurds of Iraq. And the second is the PKK does not represent the Kurds as a whole. Uh, PKK tends to oppress the Kurds who do not share the same worldview. For example, in Syria, the opposition party, the Kurdish opposition parties have been detained by the YPG. If you remember, in 2017, the Iraqi Kurds held an independence referendum. One would expect the PKK to support that referendum as being the Kurdish cause. But what the PKK did was it cooperated with Iran to support the, the referendum. He's urging Kurds in Syria to distance themselves from the YPG. And again, kind of going back to my first question, I appreciate you drawing the distinction, but why now? Uh, because uh, the PKK uh, slash YPG has gained tremendous strength uh, because of the uh, support from the United States. And it is becoming a threat for uh, the Kurds in the region. Therefore, the, uh, the Kurdish region and government, Barzani, is warning the Syrian Kurds of the danger. What is the plight of the YPG in Syria following Turkey's operation? We know that they've been turning to the Assad regime for protection. What's their mission now, I guess, now that they've, they've moved away from the border where Turkey and Russia are conducting these joint patrols? Uh, with the American withdrawal uh, of support from the YPG, uh, they are looking for a pattern to survive in the Syrian theater. Therefore, they are trying to cozy up with the Syrian regime. But the problem is the Syrian regime has realized that they, the YPG betrayed the Damascus uh, regime. Therefore, they are basically in between uh, the, the Russian force, the Syrians, and the United States. All right. Ali Demirdas uh, here in Washington. Appreciate your analysis. Thanks for that.